Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Forex free course, trading with my analysis, trend definition and trend trading. In this lesson, you will learn basic principle, Dow theory, trend definition, downtrend definition, range definition, uptrend definition. On the profile, blue lines expectations, yellow lines expectations. When daily trend breaks, then the line needs to be updated. And you need to switch your bias from buy to sell and vice versa. Basic principle, downtrend phase. Price makes lower highs and lower low. Complex pullback phase. The price doesn't make any more lower lows, but doesn't break the last lower high. In this case, our bias of the trend is still down, unless the last lower high is broken up. Range beginning. When the last lower high is broken, our bias change to a ranging market. Note that the market stays 70% of the time in a range, which means we shouldn't be too quick to change our bias from a downtrend to an uptrend and vice versa. New uptrend. The new higher high is broken up with previous to it a higher low. That's the last confirmation that the trend is changing from down to up. Then finally, we will see the opposite case. Okay, so downtrend. My blue line will be the price, and when the price makes lower highs and lower lows like that we say that the trend makes lower highs and lower low and this is a downtrend confirm the next high is lower the previous one and the next low is lower the previous one right here that's the basics when we are in a downtrend now at the end of the downtrend or in the middle of it we have a ranging market so what does the ranging market do First, the range in market create a lower low, for example, here, and doesn't succeed to break it. So the price will make, for example, a W formation. This is the start of what we can call a range. But this range is still in a downtrend because this previous high is not broken on the upside direction. So basically, you have until this level to stay in your bias in a downtrend market which means the price, whatever the price makes from here to here, it can make, for example, one swing high like that, one other swing high like that. If it never broke this level, you are still in a downtrend. And this might be, this zone right here, might just be a complex pullback before the trend continue in the downside direction. So I repeat, the price as uh, the last high, created right here and it made a new low the last high just previous this new low this one is the one that you waited to be broken to say that the trend might change to an uptrend but if price break above this one that is your first clue that the market might change to an uptrend but not yet and we will see right now why so let's talk now about the reference point so we have lower lows, lower lows, and lower high. As soon as this low is broken, the last lower high that becomes a reference point is this one. And when this one is no longer anymore broken, we keep with this level as a reference point. Which means when this level is broken, our bias change from downtrend to range and eventually uptrend after that so what do i mean by that what can happen at this specific moment in the market price make for example a w in this specific example the two reference points are this low and this high now if after this w price break this low the new reference point will be this previous high right here and the new low created just after when price will bounce right here 
So that's the reference turning point that you will take. Now, if price effectively make a W, so doesn't break this new low right here, and price make like one high, higher than this one, and make a higher low like that, we are still in a downtrend because this previous high is not broken. Now, the price make higher high, higher low right here, higher high. And after, let's say, this price break this specific previous high. In this case, if a candlestick close above this level, a daily, for example, we change the trend for, from a downtrend to a ranging market for now. Because after this is broken, the price might come all the way down and broke this level. And if it does, this is definitely a ranging market. The other option is that the price doesn't break the previous low, but continue to make higher lows. And if it continue to make higher lows at this specific moment in time and break again this previous newly created higher point, that's when our bias is definitely going to change from downtrend to an uptrend. So basically, just a little tip, if you want to have a more aggressive way to enter a trade when the trend is changing, you might want to enter a trade when this level, this high is broken, this high is broken, and you will try to enter in the pullback right here for a buy. And this is a very nice opportunity trade to buy after a downtrend when the trend is changing from down to up. But it's a bit risky because the trend is not totally confirmed. So the other way to enter the trade is when this high right here is broken up. So you might take uh, like a stop order going up to buy this level with a stop loss around here. So that's the more conservative way, I would say, to enter in a trend. Also remember that the market is trending 70% of the time. So don't really be too fast to change your bias from a downtrend to an uptrend. Before you go to an uptrend, try to imagine that the price will range for a while and after only will change to an uptrend. Just be careful of that. Okay, now let's check quickly the case of an uptrend. So follow along with me. So price make higher highs, higher lows, and then so higher highs, higher lows. So the reference point is this one and this one from now. And let's say the price doesn't succeed to break and make higher highs. So M formation, since we are in an uptrend. So from this, <coughs> we expect eventually a complex pullback. And if the price never succeeds to break it, we are still in an uptrend bias. Then when price breaks this level, this previous last low, we our bias change from uptrend to ranging market. And if price continue to make lower highs and break definitely this point, this is when we definitely <coughs> change our bias from range at this moment to a new downtrend. And from this specific case scenario, our early stage to enter the trade is when this previous low is broken down at this moment. And we want to enter at the pullback at the level of support and resistance or Fibonacci, uh, EMA, whatever, with good confluence and a good probability of success. So the riskier entry for the change to change is right here and the conservative entry is at this level with a kind of a stop order or eventually last at the pullback of this specific point right here to the downside direction so that's the explanation of an uptrend transforming into a ranging market and uh, eventually to a new downtrend Okay, so now let's see an example on the chart. So we are on ODUSD daily chart. And for example, price was making higher high, higher low. And after it breaks this low, a candlestick closed on the daily chart right here. So from this point, it was a ranging market. But since price go very, very far away on the downside direction, now we can, with this specific example, start with a downtrend because the movement is too much significant on the downside direction. After the lowest point of this is right here. So the reference point are this point and this point. So until this is broken, we are still in a downtrend. So price make one turning point on the higher and go down, break a bit, but doesn't close. So from this now on, it makes a higher point from this one, close above, 
so it might be a complex pullback after price continue to make like this swing and break so it's a complex pullback still because this level is not broken and after after that this one make a huge reversal right here kind of a head and shoulder pattern head left shoulder right shoulder and after continue on the downside direction let's check advance the chart what happened after that so this is still a, a downtrend and you can see just what happened after that the bias was right because after this head and shoulder price make new low this is the last reference point when this low is broken at this moment so we are now in newly continuation of the downtrend the turning point when this low is broken down the new turning point reference point is this one and after create a new low break this low and close below so the new reference point is here didn't succeed to come back all the way and continue down and at this point the new reference point is here from the last high and this one continue in a downtrend so on this chart we are still in a downtrend on audio and that's how you define the specific trend with chart example for the basic principle turning point definition we can use two good sized body candles to valid the turning point or more discretionary you can use the turning point that seems of correct size let's see that on the chart now let's look what makes a turning point for me for example we have this specific move right here with a little of hem and continue down but a very weak movement going up and this and finally a big movement going up in this whole movement i count only one turning point right here because the, the price makes significant move from these specific turning points and i count only one turning point on the downside right here i don't count this one because it's very weak and it's in the continuation of the movement of the candlestick so to simplify i have one turning point right here at this moment i have one turning point right here so after in this specific moment let's say we are on a downtrend this one make a correct V shape, even if it's low V formation. So this is a new high. After this is a new low, and after this is a new lie also because of the shape of the turning point is quite significant. And definitely, when you see a big one like this one, this is definitely a bigger swing high here. So after here from this point low, new low, you have a quite significant move up so this new low count for me as a turning point but inside of it you have this very little rejection right here I don't count this as a rejection point as a turning point I count only a level where I see two candle or a good size of the body going in the opposite direction so this is a turning point for me this has three candlestick with little body but overall it make a good rejection of this specific turning point so this is a turning point for me and that's pretty it let's look in the past to find other examples okay for example this reversal point right here is a turning point for me because i have two candle body quite good body can size in the opposite direction going so this is a turning point definitely but after you have this one with a one candle only in the opposite direction and the rejection is very weak around this area so for me this area is just included in this movement right here there is no turning point at this moment right here for me it's a bit discretionary but you have to take in account the turning points that are significant so for example this move totally right here you have this but all the scandals are going like this like this like this like this like this it's not really a turning point the turning point is right here from this move this is a whole movement pullback right here it's only one move and the turning point is at this moment when the price takes the decision to go down so the turning point that you select to define your trend should be significant and visually easy to spot so for example one turning point 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 one other turning point one 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 turning point and this one see i take the quite significant 
turning points all the time. I don't bother myself with the little rejection in this move, for example, right here, or in this move, for example, in the middle right here. Those are not significant turning points for me. We, what is important is this point, this point, this point right here, this point, this point, this point, this point. Those turning points are important. That's the way you find it on the chart. Practical use. The trend is your friend. Everyone knows this, and when you implement the trend to your trading plan, you increase significantly your win rate and consequently your profits. You will get less trading opportunities, but the quality will be a lot better. Let's see on the chart how you will implement the trend in your trading using my analysis. So here is my chart from two weeks ago. This is my analysis from two weeks ago. And basically what I expect is when one of those blue lines is clearly broken, I expect the trend to continue until the next blue lines. So this was an uptrend. And in this specific example, we wanted to buy the yellow level, which are intermediate level. And as you can see, with the uptrend, we have a very nice buy right here. We have another buy right here, another buy right here, and finally another buy right here from those level. This is like four opportunity with two levels. After that, we have the price making like this, higher high, higher low, I mean, and then make a higher high right here. So the reference point is this one on the four hour chart. There is an intermediate turning point right here. So when this turning point breaks, you can eventually take that as an early sign that the trend will change. But what happened thereafter is price spike out the last high. So to take a trade, it's a bit more risky. And then the price break this low and this low at the same time. So the reference point was this low right here, and it was broken. So from this moment in time, we want to sell the market. And the level were quite strong enough, and we could sell eventually successfully this level. It made a good two reward already to the next level. And after, since we are still, we are in a four hour downtrend from this point in time, right here, right here, but we are still in a daily uptrend. That's why this level right here works as a buy, and it made a very nice pin bar, and this is a huge winning trade for a buy. And after that, price break a bit those two lines but at this moment in time we see a clearly downtrend on the four hour chart so i would have sell this level especially when this monthly level is strongly rejected down so this was a nice entry at the breakout of the doji going down and eventually when this level now will be broken down we want to sell here to the next monthly level which is right here and at this point we expect eventually a change in trend and to buy in the future if the trend changes there. We always wait the price to change the trend before we take action in the newly trend. We don't expect the trend to change. We let the price tell us the trend has changed and now we take action. So that's basically the way you would trade my weekly analysis. And after that, there is a white trend line right here. And this is the limit of the daily uptrend, which means we still have good potential buy level at this one and at this one because the trend is still up on the daily and when this daily trend is broken up if a daily candle broke below this level now we will be in a daily downtrend so that's it the three element you expect the trend reversal at my blue lines those two one and we expect eventually a trend reversal right here at this blue light blue lines and in the middle the yellow line are for taking the trade with the daily and four hour trend that's it i hope you learn how to place your trend by yourself and you can take even more advantage of my analysis every week which is already very very profitable to summarize lower highs and lower lows make a downtrend higher highs and higher lows make an uptrend don't be in a rush to switch from downtrend to uptrend and vice versa because based on statistics, the market is ranging 70% of the time. Use the two confirmation explained in this lesson to confirm a new uptrend or downtrend. Use higher time frame strong level to expect a trend reversion, the light blue lines in my analysis, 
then use quality level to take the pullback with the daily or the forward trend. Those quality level are the yellow lines on my analysis chart. Join my free Telegram channel to access my analysis on around 50 pairs per week. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.